Hey, okay, coming up here today to share with you the messages for the upcoming new moon in Aries, which will happen on the 1st of April at 6.24 uh, Universal Time, so in the morning. Um, and of course, I'm going to put that down uh, also in the description and uh, you can check um, what time zone, um, according to your time zone, what time is that for you. So like always with the new moon and the uh, full moon, I come up and share with you the messages. Um, this new moon, uh, which the new moon is always about new beginnings, about planting seeds, but we are going to go deeper and uh, hey, uh, done, uh, and we are going to go deeper. Uh, what are the collective energies? What kind of the opportunities um, you have? Uh, what you can overcome, what you can see for yourself uh, and as well how can you support yourself with this new moon in Aries um, and in the end I'm also gonna use the star seed oracle deck um, just to get some additional messages uh, as well because I always love to play with the cards um, so yeah I'm sure you all uh, have a friend or, or somebody close to you that is uh, Aries sign and that is a sign that it's connected with fire. Um, so fire is connected with passion, uh, it's connected with power, it's connected with the heart um, and the, this new moon uh, can bring for many people uncertainty, um, also uh, not knowing uh, how and what to do, uh, what are the, the next steps forward. Maybe you can find yourself already in this energy because the moon always affects us three days before and three days after. So this uncertainty and this pressure of not knowing uh, and with this fiery energy um, you can get more ideas and more energy to solve additional problems um, that uh, you might find yourself in or you already are there. So really understanding more the situation so you can go um, forward. What I would suggest with this fiery uh, energy is that you breathe, that you slow down and you not rush um, and um, that you really allow yourself to take decisions consciously and not from uh, any kind of uh, extreme, emotional extreme. Okay, so yes, ask yourself with this moon, what do you want to do and what is your direction, how you want to go and deal with your life for, further. Okay. Um, which uh, parts of your body are going to be more affected? Head, I'm going to explain more. Why head? Because a lot of things with the mental, um, with your mind, uh, how for example mind can control you or you can control your mind and the pressure there, also the pressure in your jaw when you want to control things with your mind and when you are not allowing this fiery energy also to flow. When we are talking about fire, I want to mention here also the uh, pleasure and also happiness, joy, um, and we are going to dive deeper um, into that why am I mentioning this and why is this uh, important with this moon. So the parts of the body, like I said, head, jaw, um, and yeah, uh, for now I think that's it. Okay, the messages that I received. Whatever is going on for you, let your guidance be gratitude. So infinite gratitude for everything you are, everything you have, uh, everything uh, that you have already done, uh, and really connecting with your heart is a, it's an opportunity and with the frequency of gratitude it, it is an opportunity for you for the heart expansion 
uh, and really seeing things and what you still need to see from your heart, from that level. Um, because this moon is going to be an opportunity for you to see the uh, mental, uh, the, the thoughts and patterns um, of your mind. And I'm going to explain more. So focus on the gratitude and actually know that our biggest uh, teachers are our closest friends, uh, our family. And why is that? Because there we have love for them and they help us see things um, that if we wouldn't love somebody, it would be too hard for us to look into that. And because we, we love them, we want to understand, we want to go further. Um, and this gratitude that they are showing us all these things, that they are teaching all, us all these things, um, have that uh, as a um, direction for this uh, new moon in Aries. So really grateful heart um, and knowing that this is where the miracles can enter your life. So allow yourself to see, to notice, and to also receive the healing, okay? Um, with gratitude in your heart, the expansion, the growth, the liberation, the healing can enter your field more easily, easily effortlessly. So just allow yourself to do that and know that there are different cycles and uh, that we can find ourselves in, uh, in, in our life. So allow yourself to love all different processes and cycles you are in, okay? Also, here I'm going to mention the cycle of resting, the cycle of working, all of that. Um, not that you're pushing yourself to do just one or the other, okay? Um, let me see if I've heard. So, um, be grateful also for the lessons and challenges and know that your frequency is the highest when you are in the gratitude because this is a, the highest frequency of love, gratitude and compassion, okay? So, be grateful for the new day, for everything that you have an opportunity with this new day and with the people that are surrounding you. So gratitude, the first thing that I want you to keep in mind with this moon and allowing the growth to happen because with this fiery energy, this can happen more easily, okay? Allow yourself to receive this fire and not be afraid of the fire, okay? Another thing with this, um, uh, with this uh, new moon is uh, listen to your intuition, okay? And knowing that your intuition is always showing you uh, the right way. So what I was me mentioning here was that um, our mind can be sometimes tricky. The things that we hear uh, is this really the, are these really the whispers of our soul or is this um, also um, our mind trying to protect us and um, direct us in the way uh, that actually is not so beneficial for us. So here I was guided to mention your antennas and having this, um, this awareness um, of connection with the divine, with the stars, with the planets, with your heart, and knowing that you are crystalline. So uh, calling in this crystalline energy to clear your mind and everything, all the clouds that are there, clearing all that, working also with the fire with that, with this um, new moon. And observing are the thoughts that are coming up for you, are the feelings that are coming up for you um, beneficial for you, are they coming from your heart or are they coming um, from the unaware shadow parts, are you just reacting, what is going on for you, looking into the stories and these mental patterns, okay, mental constructs. And here the spirit um, gave me 
a specific information uh, to be aware of the beautiful stories that you have created for yourself to feel good, to feel better in your life and better with yourself. What are, why am I mentioning this here, uh, here? Sometimes in our life we are maybe disappointed, we are not uh, where we want to be, um, we are not doing what we want to be doing, for example, our job. And that's why we create those stories, because we don't want to live and be in the life that we currently are. And these stories are like an escape for us. Okay, so I want um, to, to, for you to be aware here of those stories that might come up for you with this new moon in Eris. And um, to really also look into uh, the stories uh, and the patterns that you have created to please other people. So pleasing other people um, so you would feel better about yourself. Okay? And with everything being said, uh, I invite you also to really step in your power with this moon, stand your ground, knowing what your truth is, really looking into the masculine, into the wounded masculine, uh, and also if you are in an environment that you don't feel safe, stable, secure, um, that you find this safety, security, stability in yourself. Okay, more specifically, I got a message to um, work with the pyramid of protection if you need to do that for feeling safe, uh, secure and stable and to go deeper with those stories that I have mentioned. Okay, sometimes because of the wounded masculine, we are um, searching this security, safety and stability in other people, other things, and we are not actually finding it within. So really looking into where um, we are doing that. Okay, so wounded masculine uh, and where we are out of center, out of alignment with ourselves. Okay, um, and yes, another thing that came up, zero sum game. What is zero sum game? Uh, that means uh, that you uh, for example, are doing something for somebody else um, or somebody else is doing something for you um, and you don't clearly express what you want in return. So what would you like from this person to be an energetic exchange? So many times people can find themselves in giving, giving and giving and then on the other side expecting that other people will do the same things uh, for them and they can be disappointed etc etc so really looking into uh, how clearly are you communicating your needs your desires and desires okay and are you being clear in also um, Oh, sorry, uh, are you being clear also in negotiating uh, things with other people? So are you being clear with the energy exchange that you want in return? Are you a good trader, divine trader? So really looking into that archetype, okay? Uh, here also a reminder um, that with clearing all those stories, whatever is there for you to see, having an opportunity um, to look into that, uh, you can connect more deeply with your intuition, with yourself, with your soul, actually the wisdom of your soul. So really um, also looking into uh, the difference of the frequency of these gentle, soft whispers and messages of uh, your soul, of your intuition, and on the other side, these beautiful uh, stories that you might be having, who you are, the stories about yourself, everything that you are doing, everything that, do, that you are creating. But be honest with yourself. 
what is um, behind this, uh, the intention behind this? Why are you doing this? Okay, because you really want to, are they, there are some kind of um, obligations? Uh, really looking into that and really stepping deeper into your truth, uh, healing whatever is there with the wounded masculine, uh, and really standing your ground. Okay, uh, and the third thing is. This moon is going to uh, be also an opportunity to ascend, okay? And uh, look, look uh, into all these, um, all these patterns of drama, uh, really reacting, doing thing, things in extremes. And on the other si uh, side, knowing that you can ascend with happiness okay uh, here a reminder uh, don't take everything so seriously know that whatever is going on for you um, in your life right now you are exactly where you should be right now and as well know that all paths lead home which means even if you go out of uh, your path for a little bit in universe, everything works um, in a way that it will bring you back into balance. So if you will go into a direction that is not in alignment with you and with your soul purpose and mission, life will guide you back on the right path. So really listen to your intuition and see what there, that is, okay? And knowing that all the steps even if they feel that you are going steps backwards, sometimes it is beneficial for us to take some step back, to see things from more distance, or even go deeper into the shadow, really face the shadow, uh, let go of things that are still there, what, what may be coming up for you is the wounded inner child, okay? Really looking into that, letting go of all the uh, feelings of abandonment of yourself, uh, betrayal of yourself, where other people were more important than you when you were saying no to yourself and yes to other people. That is what is taking uh, your power, your energy away, uh, and that is why you are losing energy, okay? That is dimming your light. So really looking into them, that. And a reminder to live this life um, in fully in this present with joy, happiness, um, as it, if, uh, as uh, if it is a last day, okay? Um, knowing, uh, having with this new moon also the self-observation, okay? Your body reactions, when you are reacting emotionally, when your mind is so quick and this re recognizing how you are maybe completely in your mind and not into in your heart and reminding yourself to go back into gratitude, to connect back with your heart, okay? Uh, calling in the crystalline energy, maybe even using the uh, pyramid uh, of protection, what I mentioned before, etc., etc., okay? So learn from the experiences from people that are present in your life with this uh, new moon. Know that they are there for a reason uh, and um, choose to learn from every day, okay? So the guidance and how can you support yourself with this new moon is to do something that brings you pleasure, whatever that is. It could be really good food, it could be dancing, it could be singing, uh, really connecting with the pleasure uh, energy and bringing more of that in your life, okay? Another thing, nourishing your temple, nourishing your body. It can be a massage, um, something to spoil yourself, okay? With this new moon uh, in Aries 
And of course, because this is the moon of the fire energy, work with the element of fire. What I think I forgot to mention with this uh, new moon is also um, that you can receive a lot of healing information. More specifically, uh, see the old patterns, patterns that are repeating and you are really connected with this new moon to let go of those patterns. So call in the energy of fire. You can work with the violet flame, also blue flame, also just uh, the fire itself. Know that the fire is the energy that transforms, uh, that is the uh, the, also the energy that destroys. So if there is anything that you need to be destroyed and that you need to, um, to start over, call in the fire to support you in this process, okay? Um, what else? Uh, also, ask the fire to light up, um, to bring uh, more light in your uh, life and also um, to give power and energy to your wishes and desires, okay? Really, um, you, you have also an opportunity with this uh, new moon in Aries uh, to um, connect with the high priest and priestess within uh, and also the, the mystical powers um, that you are holding on um, a soul level. Okay, let me just see my, my notes. I think I have looked into everything and um, we will just uh, use also the star seed oracle deck to see if there are some additional messages for us with this new moon in Aries. So it is an opportunity for you also to bring more light into your body, more specifically to also anchor and um, to integrate the uh, light body, okay? So, uh, like I told you in the beginning, the first card, uh, weight of the word, okay? Are you carrying the weight of the word? What are the things that you are taking on? Yes, boundaries. That was also one of the messages that I um, forget to mention. Okay. One of the, the um, energies and ways how fire can manifest uh, is also anger. Okay. Uh, and we are angry if we are crossing our own boundaries or if somebody else is crossing our boundaries and we are allowing it. So where, again, we are coming to the wounded uh, masculine, okay? So um, where are you not having healthy boundaries, letting go of old stories, beliefs, really liberating yourself, letting go of all the uh, energies that are not um, originally yours, all the weight of the word. Okay, really letting go of the responsibility for the things um, that are not resp your responsibility in the first place. Okay, let's see what else. You have a lot of stars as well in uh, this card. So it's a really deep clearing, healing, a lot of water. Okay, water your garden, the second card which is really aligned with uh, what I said before, nourish your temple. How can you um, support yourself with this, um, with this uh, new moon in Aries? So what I want you to look into here is also where are you putting other people first from you uh, instead of you, uh, and really nourish yourself uh, first, uh, really taking care of your body, of your emotions, resting, being tender, gentle, loving, kind, uh, with yourself, again, water. So a lot of water, a lot of clearing, healing, cleansing, 
with this new moon in Aries. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think I wanted to say something else with the... Um, yeah, it will come up if it's important. So the last card, let's see. Again, again the water. And here is the mother. Okay, okay. I, I know exactly what I uh, have to explain with this card. Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposite extremes of life. Okay, I was explaining this to my uh, friend um, just a few uh, days ago. So we have two ways of healing. For example, in Asia, the healing, um, everything, yoga, uh, breathing techniques, is everything based on controlling. So controlling our mind, controlling our body. So if we want to bring in our life more happiness, more joy, we have, for example, the techniques um, the laughing uh, yoga, for example. So we are gonna laugh, we are gonna learn how to laugh with the, uh, and smile with the liver, and we will bring and create with the masculine energy um, this for ourselves, okay? Uh, and then, um, on the other side, we have the, with the masculine healing is also that we always feel uh, that we have to do with something that is there for us. So we feel um, that we have to fix things, that we have to heal things, um, that we have to do what, uh, something with um, the, the, the situation we are in. The feminine uh, healing is about surrendering, okay? And uh, what I mean with that? Just surrender, not, contr not control in any kind of way, uh, and allow yourself to receive the healing, to completely, unconditionally trust, um, to receive this unconditional love and acceptance of the mother. Okay? So it's no control there. It's nothing that you have to do that you will feel better. It's really asking uh, for uh, this healing uh, from the Divine Mother or also from Gaia itself. So what, how can you, you have on this card a mother that is holding a baby and again we have a lot of, uh, and I'm going to take the picture of this card as, well, uh, card as well, and we have a lot of water here. But how can you also, um, how can you also, um, see the feminine healing is the mother holding the baby and just allowing, holding space for all the emotions, whatever there is, okay? You can cry, you can be angry, um, whatever that is, just allow it to be, okay? Not that you feel that you shouldn't be feeling this, that you shouldn't be doing this, that you shouldn't be thinking this. No, allow yourself whatever that is, and just hug it, just be there for yourself, just see it, um, just allow it, okay? So this is the difference between the masculine way of healing things and the feminine way of healing things. So a lot of water, a lot of releasing, a lot of clearing, cleansing with this new moon. Uh, and I feel to get one more card and then I'm gonna, okay, wait. Okay, a good reminder as well, because so much can be happening for you, um, sometimes the things are not completely clear yet, and the masculine way is control. I want to know, uh, I want to know if it's safe to do this, to go in this direction. The feminine way is like, I feel it, my intuition is telling me this, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> So, um, having this reminder for you here as well, and if you have to wait, it's okay. If you're not moving, it's okay. The feminine way is also to be in the void, to be with all those emotions, um, and yes, be in this depth, not that you have to do any action about it.
Okay, that's it what I wanted to share with this new moon in Aries. I'm wishing you a lot of blessings uh, and have a beautiful day and night wherever you are. Bye-bye.